Hello everybody, welcome back to Miss C Can, and today Miss C Can plays Stardew Valley. Welcome back to, to Snowdrop Farm with little Missy. It's been a little bit, uh, it's wonderful to be back and recording again. Um, had a little cold, some holiday stuff came up, and eh, we're, we're, we're back on track. We can do this. Let's see. What's going on with the weather today? Weather report. It's gonna be a beautiful sunny day tomorrow, okay? Fortune teller. I see a glimmer within my scrying orb, a shard of knowledge from the future. The spirits are somewhat mildly perturbed today. Luck will not be on your side. Ooh, oh, you know, I never looked up at the screen. The little, um, the little oracle lady has a bat above her head, I guess. That's bad luck? No. Okay. Queen of Sauce. It is greetings, it is I, the Queen of Sauce, here to teach you a new mouth-watering recipe from my secret cookbook. Today's, nah, this week's dish is radish salad. There's nothing like a fresh green, oh no, not green, fresh peppery radish. Ooh. Reminds me of late spring. My mother would slice up ra fresh radishes and serve them with grainy bread with a little salt and pepper. And those were the days, but I digress. Watch closely. And this would be wonderful, wonderful recipes to know if I had a kitchen. So, <laughs> maybe, maybe sometime soon. Oh look. Look, our strawberries are here! Strawberries! I'm going to keep a couple of them. One of them is gold. Nice. Uh, cauliflower. Another piece of cauliflower. And butterfly! Okay. Oh, it's just another beautiful day. Oh, Robin's here! Hi, Robin! Can I talk to you from over there? Robin? Be patient. I still have a lot of work to do. Okay, Robin. Well, since you're on the farm, you can have a strawberry. Thanks. This is really nice. You're welcome, Robin. That's all the strawberries I'm passing out. Those are mine. I'm keeping them. Maybe next harvest. Maybe next harvest I will share. Ooh. I've run out of space. Oh, no. That's not good. Uh, let's take out this stuff and we'll put the plants in. Okay. I'm gonna have to put the, these pines and stuff somewhere else. I can't have them taking up space like that. Mm. So much, they're just there. Uh, I need an interior decorator. I, there's just plants, plants everywhere. That's okay. All right, guys, I'm gonna go water the garden and I will see you all in just a bit. Bye. Thanks, this is really nice. You're welcome, Robin. That's all the strawberries I'm passing out. Those are mine. I'm keeping them. Maybe next harvest. Maybe next harvest I will share. Ooh. I've run out of space. Oh no! I can't have them taking it. I need an interior. Alright guys, we're back. And... We watered the garden. It's so late in the season, I don't think it's a good idea to start throwing down some any extra seeds. We have melon seeds. We have some we have some mixed seeds, but we're not gonna throw any of those down. Instead, potato. Mm, six days. We could throw down a potato, right? We'll throw down a potato. Hang on. We'll throw down this potato here. Potato, potato. Uh, so instead, we're gonna do a little bit of. We're gonna go around town with with our, with our dandelions and our flowers and the jazz flower that's here, and we're gonna see if we can still make some friends, um, because we really don't. I don't think anybody in town really is likes us all that much just yet. Social. Pam likes us the best. Well, Robin likes us better. Hmm. Yeah, we're basically at one heart, yeah, with half of the town. That's it. And we can do better than that, so. <laughs> Hang on, quality crops bundle. We need five golden parsnips. Mm, we're gonna try to get that before next year. All right, that should do. So I've got my uh, I've got my bamboo pole. I'll water these potatoes. And then we're gonna hunt down some friends. It's always so nice to be back at Stardew Valley. It really is. It's, it's such a peaceful little game. Um, let's see. Hey, Marnie! You're actually-
actually at work today. Supply shop. She has hay, heater, milk pail, shears. Okay. Don't need any of that. Purchase animals. We need to construct a coop and then we can see how, how much everything costs. Okay, not bad. Marnie, would you like a flower? I've got a daffodil. Thank you, this looks nice. You're welcome, Marnie. How about you, Shane? Shane, would you like a flower? I don't really like this. Okay, remember, no flowers for Shane. I'm gonna make a note of that. And the little girl's not home, so. But Marnie likes flowers. Maybe Shane likes more expensive gifts. Spen uh, do I like Shane enough to give him expensive gifts? It doesn't matter. We're, we're here to make everybody in the in the in the. S <laughs> we're gonna make everybody in Stardew Valley our friends. So we'll find out what he likes. And we'll bribe for friendship. Let's see. Who else is here? Oh, hey Vincent. Would you like a dandelion? This isn't very fun. Aw, sorry, buddy. Can't get to Sam. And their mother's not home. Okay. Hmm. I think it was just a quiet day in Stardew Valley. Oh, I should have gone to stuff and I could have visited Gunther. Oh well. Gunther will do what he's gonna do. Let's see. Elliot, wait, no, don't go to the house. Mm. <laughs> we missed Elliot. Well, I guess refreshing. Uh, I could probably catch Elliot at the bar. Oop, wait, hold on. Fish. Got a herring, so <laughs> we'll try to catch Elliot later. It's 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 a pain not being friends with everybody, because then you can't enter certain spots, and it's like, but <laughs> but I come bearing gifts, <laughs> and they're like, no, nah, not talking to you right now. Um, let's see about Clint. Clint, would you like a flower? Thanks. Okay, not bad. Great tools. Ooh. I need five copper bars to do that. I'm not willing to do that right when I'm in the middle of um, a harvest season. Yeah, because if I miss if I miss some of these these days, then it will be will be there's a chance I will, I will miss out on the uh, the fruits and vegetables and whatnot. So we'll have to wait till like winter maybe. Hmm. Join us. Thrive. No, Joja. Never. Let's see. Come on. Who else is out and about and running around today? Oh, Mayor! Mayor, I have a blue jazz flower. Would you like? Thanks. This is great. You're welcome, Mayor Lewis. I've been Mayor of Pelican Town for 20 years. Over 20 years. Wow. Nice. That's that's a long time to be Mayor. No one ever runs against me when it's time for an election. I like to think it means I'm doing my job well. I like being Mayor. Oh. That's good to like your job. Ooh. Haley needs a cauliflower. Uh, okay. All right, I can do that. And she's she's got giving us five hundred and seventy three gold upon delivery. Mm, yeah. Okay, Haley. Okay. Hey, wait a second. It's locked. I am forever missing Harvey. Oh my word. Okay. We got this. We are going to run down to the house. We're going to grab a cauliflower, and then we're going to give it back. Oh, there's two flowers up here. Three, what? Daffodils everywhere. Pick, pick, okay. Alright, good enough. Let's go. That was nice. I like picking up nice, nice uh, stuff. And Haley needs a cauliflower. Let's get, let's give her one of these. And I'll put these in here. I'm keeping the gold one for myself. 
This goes into my fish box. And this. And. Uh, eh, no. And put this here. And grab this. Okay. Off we go. Hmm. It's still spring. It's still early spring. So it's going to take a while before stuff really picks up, I believe. Haley! Haley, I have a thing. Oh, that's exactly what I needed. <laughs> I'm so happy. Oh, you're welcome, Haley. My sister's so weird. Sometimes I wonder if we're really related. Okay, bye. Anyway. Thank you. Okay, so, hmm. Haley's sister is blue, blue hair. Yes, Emily. Haley's sister is the one with the blue hair, Emily. Um, and Emily, I think, is a little nicer than Haley, but we'll see. Friend? Daffodil? Oh my goodness, she shook. She liked that. Oh goodness, are you sure? You're welcome. Take the flower. Today, I'm just going to relax and think positively. Do you ever take a day off? Yes, yes I do. Some days I just wander around town giving out flowers. So... <laughs> That's what I do on my day off. I just wander around town giving out flowers. Hmm. Because it's not a good day to run down into the mines. And we don't have a lot of energy. So we can't go around wasting energy willy nilly. Hello. Hello, hello. Anybody home? No? Okay. What about... He's down in the dungeon. That's okay. We'll see him again later. Anybody this way? Hey, it's Demetrius. Demetrius, you like Daffodil? That was very thoughtful of you. You're welcome. I know you've studied the wildlife in the area. It's good to take a break from work every now and then. Yes, it is. I guess it's kind of difficult when you live on a farm, though. Not as difficult as you would think. Hey, at least in winter you won't have to worry about crops. That is something that I do worry about. Yeah, mm, I worry about that quite a bit. Because without crops, no profit. No profit, no money. No money, no food. So, <laughs> it's like one of those equations. It's like x, equals y, x plus y equals profit. Oh, wait, hey. Worms? You found the lost book in the library's collection has expanded. Neat. Okay. <laughs> well, nothing much really running around over this way. You know what? We need wood. I think I said that last time. We need a lot of wood. I'm going to get my axe. I'm going to start chopping things down. I have a plate of spaghetti. And... Well, is anybody out? Hello. Oh, they're, they're closed for the day. Hey, Maru. Maru, Maru Flower? Thanks. You're welcome, Maru. T today's my day off. I'm picking flowers for people. Hi. Hey, you've made another week of progress on the farm. Seems like things are going well for you. Oh, thanks, Maru. Bye. She's my friend. So, <laughs> you know, in these type of games, I wish there was like a way you could friend zone people. Like you could, uh, you could give them like a friendship bracelet, and that way you could still get to ten hearts with them without the romantic side going going for it. You know, you could just be best friends. I think that would be fun. Hey, peoples. Emily, I talked to your sister today and I gave her a cauliflower and uh, we're, we're, we're trying to be friendly towards each other, so here's her flower. Thank you. I'm feeling positive energy from this gift. You're welcome. Hi, Missy. Do you raise sheep on your barn? You can turn the wool into beautiful bolts of cloth. Oh, you might like bolts of cloth then. You'll need a loom, though. You can, you can make them yourself if you know the crafting recipe. Thank you. That's very helpful. Gunther, Gus. Gunther is... Who's Gunther? Darn it, who's Gunther? Why'd I get that name from? Ah, it'll come to me in a bit. 
Uh, oh, Gunther is at the library. That's why. Okay, no, this is Gus. Gus has blueberries on his jacket. Hi there, Missy. I'm glad to see you. You're always welcome here. Yo, thank you, Gus. Oh, okay. Here, have a flower. Oh, goodness. Are you sure? Yes. Yes, yes. Take the flower. And Pam likes flowers, too. You did good with this one, kid. Thanks. You're welcome. All right. I passed out all my flowers for the day. That means it's time to get some nightly wood chopping going. <laughs> so that's exactly what we're going to do because we are out of wood, I believe. We have like maybe 50 pieces of wood, 25, something like that. Not not over 100, which is what I like to keep on hand. And then, oh dear, what do I know how to craft? Hang on, crafting. I can make a sturdy ring. I can make a campfire. I can make a torch. Let's start putting torches down. Yeah, let's start putting torches down around the farm. Because I can't see anything at night. <laughs> Put this away. Grab this. Grab some sap. Sap. Where's my axe? What do I do with my axe? Where's the axe? Is the axe in here? Axe. Okay. Oof. Oh, we do have over 100 pieces of wood. That's lovely. Okay. And let's... Pull down a couple of these, and maybe some nice wood paths. Okay. And then the rest of it's going right back in the box. Well, yeah, I can, I can leave it in this box. I think I should put the sap in this box. Because we can use it to make fertilizer. Okay. Alright guys. I will see you all at the end of the night with the, uh, oh, wait, hold on, let's throw some stuff into the box because I didn't sell anything, and cash is always good. Let's throw the whole wild horseradish, uh, silver parsnips, regular parsnips, eh, eh, one of these, one of these, and more oil mushroom. Okay, and just to be certain, quality crops, don't need anything from there, artisan, no animal, no fall crops, no summer crops, no. Okay, and then that's the pantry, boiler room, fish tank, crafts room, crafts, exotic. We need a moral mushroom for this one. But I've got another one up in the box, so I'm not concerned. With different foraging, summer foraging, fall from the one. Okay, good, right. Now, as I was saying, I'm going to throw everything that I have here into the box, and I'll see you all in just a bit. Bye! Hold on, let's throw some stuff into the box, because I didn't sell anything. And cash is always good. Let's throw the whole wild horse rack. Don't need anything from there. Our pantry, boiler room, fish tank. Alright guys, I will see you tomorrow. Whoa, we leveled up in our foraging. Got better with our axe. We got wild berry harvesting. Neat. I wonder what that's going to do. We can craft our charcoal kiln, and now we can make some wild seeds for summer. Ooh, that's wonderful. Ah, nice holiday. What, what was uh, the expensive thing? The parsnips? Uh, not so much. That one strawberry brought in 120 pieces of gold. I'm going to have to make sure I keep those strawberries around. I think there's a way I can, um, I could get a seed maker. Yeah, I can get a seed maker because the strawberries and the cauliflowers are where it's at with the, uh, with gold. And especially since the strawberry is a regrowing plant. If I have it at the beginning of the season, then next year is going to be nothing but money. Let's see. Moral, moral mushrooms are great too. Ooh. Okay, everyone. I guess that's it. All right, I am Miss C, and I will see you later. Bye.